Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers. Welcome back to the county ground where in a stunning turn of events it is raining in England. Today we're taking on Wigan Athletic. I've got bad news. Manchester United went and freaking won like they always do. So we're still one point behind them in the race for the Barclays Premier League title. We have to hope that at some point they draw and that we can win out. So we've got to beat Wigan today to have any chance. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the Kardashians. You guys wanted me to, but I just I can't. Maybe next time. This time I want to talk about something else I don't know anything about. Taylor Swift's boyfriends. Um, you may remember when I reviewed One Direction that I knew that Taylor Swift and Harry Styles were in a relationship due to their Tumblr tag, Haler, and also because I am familiar with uh, Taylor Swift's work as a musician and um, cover girl. I don't know. She does other stuff. Um, oh, she's an actress. She's been in a movie I saw at some point. Or maybe it was, maybe it was a music video about her, with her music in it. I don't remember. Whatever. Um, today I'm going, but I do know some of the people that Taylor Swift has been in, in romantic relationships with. Today I am going to review those relationships um, from the perspective of someone who knows absolutely nothing about them. All right. So first off, I know that Taylor Swift was in a relationship with Jake Jigga 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 Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal? Gyllenhaal. I don't know. Nobody knows. It's like GIF and GIF. Um, nobody knows for sure. But anyway, they dated even though Taylor Swift was like 19 and he's like 44 years old. Um, I mean, I think Jake Gyllenhaal is potentially older than I am. And let me just tell you, from the perspective of a me dating a 20-year-old, mmm, creepy. I'm just going to say it. It is. Come on! Oh, ball, John Green. You got to put that in the net. You got to take your beautiful bald head and just rub it up against the ball until it goes in the net. Just rub it. Nah, dang it. Schmerg. Um, don't show me 72 replays. I know he missed the goal. Um, yeah, so I guess that relationship ended poorly, and um, Taylor Swift wrote a song about it. <laughs> uh, she also has dated John Mayer. Uh, is that correct, Meredith? Uh, he was in the, um, you know, John Mayer. He made that song, Your Body is a Wonderland, and possibly some other songs that I've never heard. But he definitely made Your Body is a Wonderland, which I have heard, and which I just now realized uh, is about sex. Like, clearly, what else would it be about? Um, unless it's about a giant whose body is some kind of actual wonderland, like, um, like a giant. Imagine this, a giant whose body is Disney World, like a gigantic Disney World shaped creature who lets children play on it all day. That might be cro that might be creepier than just regular. Your body is a wonderland. Come to think of it. All right. So um, yeah, she dated John Mayer. They broke up. I bet you wrote a song about him. Um, and uh, I've always liked I've always liked John Mayer on principle, just because he seems to have a sense of humor about himself. He seems to understand, you know, that he's John Mayer. Um, and I've also heard that he's good. I, I've also heard that he's good live, but I did hear that from someone I don't trust very much. So who knows? No one knows for sure, except John Mayer. Um, that was not a foul. I got in front of him. It was a perfectly justifiable hug. Oh, for the love of God. Sometimes this game is really upsetting to me. There we go. Good defense by the Swoodley Poopers. And then who's bringing it out of the back? None other than Lee Roy Williamson, one of the originals. And one of the absolute greats. Look at him. Never give up. Never give in. Leroy Williamson. Leroy Williamson. What What were you doing? You did all that work and it was great. And then you, you didn't even need to cross. But you just, you, oh, wow, that's never happened before. That was almost the best goal ever. Gosh, that would have been fun. I'm going to try that every time now. Look at beautiful ball, John Green in his boots. All right, she also dated Harry Styles. And that's all I got. Is that it? Am I done with her ex-boyfriends? Because if so, this was a very short video. Or does she have secret ones that I don't know about yet? Um, all right, can I guess some people she might have dated? Did she date um, Zac Efron? It's rumored. It's rumored that Zac Efron dated everybody, though, to be fair. Um, all right, so Zac Efron possibly on the list, but n not, a, not a confirmed yes. Oh, you know what is a confirmed yes? Ball John Green! Show me how you dance. Show me how you dance inside the net, baby. Oh, I got the penalty stuffer trait. I don't know what that is, but it's great news. Look at this beautiful goal. I mean, ball John Green just put his head on the ball. Just put your gaboom gaboom. Nothing the goalkeeper can do about that. He got a hand on it, but boom. 
Ball, John Green, John Green, he gives it all for the team upon his mustache. We're keen, ball, John Green, John Green. So Zach Efron, um, possibly. Okay, I'm going to guess some other people who I've heard of. Are they all dudes? No, that's disappointing. Um, mm, did you date anybody from NSYNC? No, they're too old. Did you date Justin Timberlake? Huh? Uh, a boy band is right. Like Nick Lachey? I don't... Uh, one of the guys from... Uh, did you date Justin Bieber? No, he's with Selena. Or was. I don't really know how that worked out. Um, all right, just, give, just, just tell me what band it is. Jonas Brothers? Oh, did you date Nick Jonas? Joe, there is no Joe Jonas. That's ridiculous. Did she really date Joe Jonas? There's a secret Jonas brother named Joe? Uh, isn't the famous one named Nick? Don't they all wear promise rings? That's all I know about them. I've never heard one of their songs. Um, I've heard they're good. Yeah, I, they, I know they have a lot of... In Nerd Fighteria, they have a lot of fans because I made a joke about them once. And, um, man. Because you can't make a joke. The lesson that from that was don't make a joke about a band whose music you've never heard or you'll probably embarrass yourself. Um, yes, that reminds me of when I made fun of the music of Keisha, whose name turns out to be Kesha. Um, how am I supposed to know how you pronounce it? The cash sign. All right. Um, okay, so she dated Joe Jonas, and they were in a relationship for a long time. Um, two months. Okay, and then she wrote a song about him. All right, so Joe Jonas. Um, is that it, though? Jacob Black. Jacob Black? Um, you mean the guy with the V-shaped torso from the Twilight movies? Um, the werewolf? Taylor and Taylor? What was their shipping name? Taylor? Taylor Squared. Yes, that's nice. Okay. Um, Taylor Squared. You know, I... Yeah, I mean, from my perspective, that was never going to work. I see him... I, and maybe I'm wrong about this. Um... But uh, you know how, you know how uh, there's that, that phrase, oh, I hope you're okay, DeSanto. You know how there's that phrase, um, more than a pretty face? I see T Taylor Lautner as, and maybe I'm wrong. Again, I'm not an expert. Taylor, if you're listening to this, I apologize. Thanks for supporting the Swoodly Poopers, though. I see him as primarily, primarily a pretty face, <laughs> I got to tell you. Um, he seems to me like, um, and not even that pretty of a face, really. It's really the neck to pelvis area that's, that's so fantastic um and it is i mean look like it, people always make fun of that of, of that movie because he's shirtless in it so much but like you would have you, if i had his torso you would never have seen a vlogbrothers video that featured me in a shirt ever it would never i would never have made one um i i i, I would have you know like I'd, I'd be known as the guy who doesn't own shirts oh no i just got absolutely smirked Come on, come on, come on. Get back, get back. There will be flood. There will be flood. No, not actually very good defense. There, it worked out in the end, though. All right. Um, so she dated Taylor Lautner, and that didn't work out. And I, I think I saw them together at the MTV Movie Awards or something, or I saw, saw something on Tumblr about it. Uh, Tyler Oakley mentioned it or something. I don't know. Um, but I do, see, I do rem faintly remember that that, uh, that that is indeed, that you're not trying to trick me or anything. Um, is that it, though? Connor Kennedy is not famous. Who is that? Oh, he's a Kennedy? Off the post! Come on, how many times are we going to hit the post this season? It's ridiculous. Um, she dated a Kennedy? It's kind of impressive. I, I thought they were all gone. Is he, is he like... He's, he's, he's not JFK. He's not a direct relative of JFK. Maria Shriver's son. Okay, I know. That, that side of the family. Well, that's hard leaving a Kennedy, really. Um, I just went down to the box because I got fouled, and they didn't call it because they don't want Leroy Williamson to score a beautiful penalty, which is too bad. It's too bad, man. Come on, guys. Let's get a second goal for Taylor and Taylor. That's, that's a good-looking cross, but nothing. Nothing. Unnecessary slide tackle from Leroy Williamson. He's an old-school swoodly pooper, and he still likes to play like one. Great tackling, though, by the back line. All right, um, Connor Kennedy, but they broke up too. Is she single now? 
I mean, I feel kind of bad for her. I don't, she seems to have really bad luck. I wonder, is she, now, does she ever, and, and all of these relationships, she's been the dumpy purportedly? We do know that. So she's like me. She's like just a chronic dumpy. Or like Meredith, apparently. Um, it's funny, because Meredith doesn't seem like a dumpy. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I, for someone like Taylor Swift, I might recommend what I had um, that really changed my life, which was a nice diet of singleness that lasted about a year and a half um, in my mid-20s. And I, when I say singleness, I don't mean that I was, like, seeing people. I mean that I was, like, single. Um, as single. That's a foul! Come on! Um, as single as a human being can possibly be. We're really tired, and it's in the 86 minutes, so I'm going to take all the guys out so nobody gets hurt because I see them all squatting in pain. Oh, oh, oh. He may be in trouble for the next game. That's, that's bad. All right. And then we'll take out S. Holden Goldfield and bring in French, the Lana. And we're just going to try to – I should have made those substitutions earlier, but I'm not a very attentive manager. So, in short, did I know Taylor Swift's boyfriend's – am I done now? Okay, thank goodness. Did I know Taylor Swift's boyfriend's – no, I didn't. But um, but I knew, I knew a couple of them. I mean, for me, that's actually borderline – Success. Oh, speaking of success, off the post! Are you freaking kidding me? Oh. D. McGoldry locks. Hits it off the post. Disappointing himself and his team. Then Leroy Williamson dribbles it out of bounds. No, it's our ball. It's our ball. Everything's fine. D. McGoldry locks is going to take it. He's going to get it to Jesus Angel. And Jesus Angel is going to score because he is an angel. Nope. And it didn't happen. Never happens like you draw it up in life. That's, of course, a lyric from a Taylor Swift song. Um, I, I, do, I do genuinely like her music. Um, it's bubbly and fun. And it's like a little bit country, a little bit rock and roll. Our opponents are squatting in shame because they lost. The Swinnington Swoodley Poopers are celebrating. Don't celebrate too soon, friends. We've got to find out what happened to Manchester United. We just need one draw between now and the end of the season to have the window open. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.